Never been a better small car than Pulsar by Nissan. Well, let's have a look at our contenders for Mark of the Day. From Michael Roach to Chris Langford. Over the top, Langford. Oh, what a... Dunstall's kicked three goals on him. Dermot so Brereton. The back, a magnificent mark. In long. Chris Langford again. Again in front, Langford, great mark. He may have hurt himself. There she is. In Couple now from Roach Mike Pickering. Here's the first. Here. They're all flying. There's a big Pickering claiming that mark. He's got to pay it to him. It goes over the And the second. Oh, great mark by Rioli. Hooks the ball. We'll do it again. The Here's the third. Pickering. He's got the mark. Richmond's David Palm. Full forward. That's a good mark. Taken by Palm. Kill with a long. Down to Victoria Park square. now. Tony Lockett, Lockett of oh, St Kilda. Oh, His teammate, Buckley Andrew Manning. Held. So it doesn't matter because Manning takes a nice mark. Fitzroy's oh, Gary Kane. Forward, and that's a lovely mark to Keane. St Kilda's Andy Bennett. Osborne. And Chip Fitzroy's Grant Laurie. Laurie. To our panel, headed by Bob Davis. Well, uh, crackers, I'll go to you first this week. Well, I like Langford's both. Langford's mark. The last yeah. one, he almost uh, killed himself, but he really kept the eye on the ball. And uh, I like Berridan's mark. for he very athletic, got right up in the air and had a go. And I like Grant Laurie's mark. He really jumped in and uh, kept the eye on the ball. Mm. But oh, Berridan's probably the best. Right. And what about you, Kevin? Well, I thought Grant Laurie's was a fantastic mark. A lot of courage in that. Yeah, he took his eyes off the ball. I agree with crackers on Dermot Brereton. I thought that was an outstanding mark. And also like Roachie's because uh, diving full, you know, full stretch and uh, taking in the fingertips, I thought that was excellent. But uh, I agree with crackers. I think Brereton's. Yes, well, there was no doubt that Dermot... <laughs>